Okay, first up we're going to produce a few different sheets of paper that we can use and collage together using the jelly plate. If you don't have jelly plate, that's okay. You can sponge paint and take prints off plexiglass and use stencils on the paper the exact same way. So this one here is a bit like the finished piece, but not completely finished, just the first stage. And you'll end up with something like this and then maybe another one that we've taken ghost prints on that can be used and some sheets of tissue paper that we're going to collage onto those to create the next layer. So the next layer will look something like this with the collage tissue paper and some ghost prints. This is going to be maybe a three-way process and here I've made a stencil and made some shapes with the stencil and that will be the next stage. Um, choose some paints in a combination of just a couple of colours, keep it nice and simple. So my last one I did in greens and yellows, so I think this one I might do in um, some pink. and yellow is a nice combination because if you add white then you get a peachy colour as well. This I'm using golden open because they're slow drying and it gives me time to think about what I'm doing, especially good for taking ghost prints of plants. But if you haven't got golden open you can use a retarder, a slow drying medium, or you can use printing inks. I sometimes use these printing inks. Caligo Safe Wash printing inks are also slow drying. Or you can use normal acrylic paints and just work a bit faster. That also works. So I'm going to just use for my background the um, Quinacridine Magenta and a yellow. This one is very transparent, this one is opaque and this one is very transparent so I've also got an opaque white and one other colour to mix and I think I'll maybe just put hmm, a little bit of red in So I'm going to get oranges and pinks and peaches. You wouldn't want to mix your colours too much. If you start to put um, the purple in, for example, it would mix with the yellow and you would get a sludgy brown. And especially with the slow drying acrylics, if you put the layers on top of each other, they would mix and the colours would mix and you would get a horrible sludgy brown. Um, as you are rolling out your ink, you might want to have a piece of paper that you roll the excess paint onto and I sometimes use that as a background for collage. So you need one piece of excess paper, I'm going to put it here. Your plants that you've previously pressed in a book or flower press. Some nice ones here. A roller and I'm using thick watercolour paper just because if we're going to be painting or gluing onto it afterwards it's not going to buckle. Um, you also need some stencils or things for making um, texture for your first layer. So here I use things like Punchinella wallpaper samples. They're great. I've got a whole tray of them. 
we get ones with nice pictures on them but equally good just a texture some stencils I've got different stencils here and you need a piece of tissue paper to make the ghost prints with if you haven't got tissue paper you can also use sewing pattern paper which gives a nice effect actually because it's got lines and patterns on it already okay so I'm using a little jelly plate but you can use a bigger one if you want so I'm going to start with Just a few layers randomly with textures, not the plants yet. If you want to get a nice even surface while you're printing you roll your roll your brayer very 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 lightly on the last The nice thing about this jelly side jelly plate is that you can have it like a stamp. So just going to layer, turn it over, give it a good rub. And because these are slow drying acrylics, as I layer up the colours, they will blend a little bit. You don't want to use too much paint on your jelly plate. You want a nice thin layer. Just a little bit touch of pink. If you haven't got slow drying Acrylics, this stage works really quite well with normal acrylics because you're working quite quickly at this point. And you see that's just changed the colour of the whites slightly. Okay, nice peachy colour. And I'm going to offset these a little bit so that they're not too even. Starting with quite light layers because I don't really want it to be too dark at this stage, so I'm mixing quite a lot of white. It's easier to go to go darker rather than go lighter. If you try and add lighter layers on top, it's unless it's really opaque paint, it's quite hard to do. Mm. 
I'm going to put my stencil on the paper rather than on the plate because I'm going to be turning it over so it's easier to do that otherwise it could move. You always get two prints from a stencil. The pattern and then the ghost print. You could use that elsewhere. I'm going to lift the rest of that up with a piece of tissue paper because I don't actually want that on my picture. jelly plate you could also um we could also layer on some of the paint that's a nice effect just want to create a bit of texture in the background Okay, so the next step is that we're going to make some ghost prints using the tissue paper that we'll then layer on top once this is dry and we'll print some of it onto this background. So 
they need some tissue paper, some plants. We'll put this just to the side and we're going to use the same colours for the most part but we'll maybe add in a couple more so um, you, know, you can have a think about what kind of colours we to go. The teal actually goes really nicely with this as long as you don't mix it. So if we make some ghost prints with that. So I think I'll stick with the teal. Right, so nice thin layer because most of this is going to get pulled up. away from the plant. Okay, I like these ones because they look like trees when they're... Let's try. Let's give this one a try. I've not tried this plant before. Some plants you find that they have little seeds and they come up onto your jelly plate which is a bit annoying but let's give this one a try. Now what you want to do is just rub it gently and evenly all over and it's going to take a couple of goes to really get in there. And you see that it makes the, the shape of the plant so we can use this later in our collage and we're going to layer this up nice transparent layers of color so you need to take a few different prints of it because even when it looks like there's no color left on the jelly plate there is especially around the edges see quite a lot of color still on there and we need one more sheet of paper that we are going to put some of our ghost prints on. If you've got little bits of seeds you want to very, very carefully pick them off. Now what you can do is you can actually, if you turn it over and look on it, on a bit of white paper you can see what it's going to look like so you can decide whether you want to put it on this one or this one. This one is still wet so you have to be careful that it doesn't blend too much with what you've got underneath.
lovely actually, it's like a forest. You see all the different transparent layers. Could use that for another piece of art. Just thinking I might maybe want one more colour to add as a layer on top with tissue. I'm not going to put it on the actual background. So I'm going to use a Prussian blue. Just to give a bit of extra dimension. And with this, I'm going to use the grasses. Now, you do have to be careful with the grasses. You end up, you can end up with lots of little bits on your plate if you're not careful. That are really annoying to take off, but um, some of them work better than others. These work really well. And I've also got some poppy heads which I've not actually tried before but let's give these a try and see if they print. They're quite bulky, make sure all the seeds are out. You see that they won't press flat, so you need to really get the tissue paper in around and try not to move them. It's 
So I'm going to very, very carefully lay that down. I'm going to get a fresh piece of paper to print that with, I think. Well, actually, let's see what it looks like. It's quite pretty. I might put it on my background piece. Let's put it on the background piece. Now I'm going to get a sponge and just blend that again. Can you see that we got a line? I'm going to take some white and just blend it just a little bit. Remember you're going to be covering up some of these with tissue paper and then a final image as well. So don't worry, I wouldn't worry too much. Okay, so there we go for just now. We've got one background textured piece made with um, sponging and stencils and some plant images and tissue paper that we can glue on afterwards and another image that you can use by gluing on tissue paper afterwards and drawing into. Once they're all dry we'll come back and we'll the next step.